you guys. Welcome back. It is Friday. Um, so today we thought we would talk about having a little fun with your kids. Um, <laughs> Which is appropriate since we're moving into the weekend. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So you can totally see our train of thought here. We had this all planned out. <laughs> but actually, I tell a story or I told a story a couple of years ago um, in a 365 meetup because it had just happened. And I, I told them about our, we have older teenage kids and they were, you know, still teenage kids then, just not quite as older as they are now. Um, but they had a whole bunch of friends over one night and um, we don't have a basement or anything. So David and I thought that it would be, you know, nice. And plus we wanted to kind of talk anyway. So we just moved quietly upstairs and let them all hang out. They were playing games and goofing off down here in the downstairs. So we just went up to our room and, you know, got out of the way because, you know, every... We, just thought thought we, were, we thought we were being nice. Give them some space. Well, the next thing that we know, all of these teenagers <laughs> come tracing into our bedroom to ask they us... Invaded. They, they invaded. They invaded our space. Yeah. To ask us to play hide and seek in the dark with them, which we do a lot with our, our family. Not as much anymore because everybody's going in a thousand different directions. But um, at the time, we did it a lot. So we get up. And we went outside and we all played hide and seek in the dark. And I am not as quick or in as good a shape as I used to be. So I found a place behind a bush and sat between the house and the bush and sat there for like two rounds because they couldn't find me. Um, but as... She was scared. Yeah, probably. But the moral of that story is, and I thought it was so cool then, and the way that it resonated with everybody um, showed me that it really was, our kids... And their friends, and still, they were here, we had a, group, a Bible study group here on Wednesday. And we had a very, I mean, you know, they're just cool. They're, they're right with us. Um, but they, not like culture tells you that they want to be as far away from you as possible. They really do enjoy hanging out with us. We have a lot of fun together. And I, as I've told that story through the years and talked to other moms and stuff like that, I realized that for some families, that's a little bit more of a struggle. Some personalities are not um, geared that way. They've not uh, really prioritized fun in the same way. Yeah. And so we just wanted to, to encourage you today, um, maybe give you a few ideas of some of the things that we've done through the years to really, really prioritize having fun with your kids because you are building relationships no matter what stage of the game that you are that's going to, you're going to see that play out as they get older and your kids st and their friends, which is super awesome, yeah. still want to include you in their fun times, in what they're doing. Um, they, and, and our house is always noisy. We have two boys, two girls, and a ton of spares around all the time. And there's just always something active, something fun going on. Well, and, and I mean... The house kind of plays into this as well because there's not a whole lot of places to hide in our house. No. We, we don't have a real small house, but there's not a whole lot of walls. And we yeah. always realize that when we try to put a picture up or something That's like right. that. There's we're trying to, to figure it. out where we're going to put this wall. I mean, this this picture. And so you can't really go and hide in our right. house. And we actually like it that way because, you know, people can't get away. We don't like the idea of our kids going and hanging out in the rooms all the time. There's definitely this element of you need your own time. But nobody really isolates themselves right, in our, right. our house. And there's good and bad that comes with that. But we're together all the time and we enjoy spending time together. And and we really play off of that. I mean, you and I, we try to play off of that as much as we possibly can by trying to pull the kids off phones, try to play board games, try to play card games together. A physical, I mean, we are literally... Um, when they were younger, uh, we would, there was a ton of four square, a lot, as we, as we've gotten older, we play volleyball or cross net or spike ball. Um, the, just all kinds of things that we have done together through the years, um, that just really cement those relationships. And again, we tell you all, all the time that a lot of the stuff that we did, um, was not because we were genius, you know, with this master plan that we were working towards, but I really do believe that it was just the Lord answering our prayer for relationships with our children, our, the Lord answering our prayer for the hearts of our children all along yeah. the way. And one of the things that we both learned when we were younger, we worked with teenagers um, a lot when we were younger, 
And one of the, the things that we learned was if we can get them active, that breaks down a lot of walls. Fun breaks down an yes. awful lot of walls. You and it tired. gives you, yeah, it gives you a lot of opportunities and it gives you a lot of things to talk about. So, um, so that really was one of the things. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that we had this master plan, but we did have priorities. You know, yes. we had certain things that we wanted to try to do and we prioritized and we, we, um, and that started to dictate things that we did from there. And so we were pretty in, intent on actually wanting to foster a relationship with our kids. Uh, I remember having people tell us all the time because we were pretty strict when the kids were growing up. I remember people telling us all the time that our kids were going to rebel because we were strict. And we would always say, well, it's not the rebe it's not the strictness that is going to cause them to rebel. We need to have a relationship right. with them. Right. And so we would actually cultivate the relationship. And that was the priority. Let's just cultivate a relationship. And however that ended up working out, it worked out. And we would try to, we'd go out and we'd buy board games or we would go and we would buy you know, all kinds of... We had a ping pong table, we, you, you know. You throw a ball in the middle of a bunch of guys and there's <laughs> going to be some sort of game that ends up resulting from that. And so we would have balls. We would have all kinds of stuff that we would end up trying to foster. We had a trampoline for a long time. Mm -hmm. And it was purposely so that we would try to cultivate this relationship because you really I love, love to jump on the, the trampoline. trampoline. <laughs> I didn't have a trampoline when I was growing up. We grew up in... I grew up in apartments Leslie had houses. I was an only child. She had a sister, so they had a trampoline. And so we made sure that we got a trampoline because you had these warm remembrances yeah. Oh, yeah. of jumping on a trampoline. So, you know, it, it's not so much planning it all out and being rigid. It's I have this priority right. of I'm going to cultivate this relationship with my kids, which means that we're going to laugh together which means that we're going to spend time together and we're going to enjoy that. And again, one the verse in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 6, talks about those in-between times. That's when you're teaching. And having fun is part of that. And playing games, it's part of yep. that. Um, and you know, sitting around the table together eating dinner is part of that. Our dinner conversations, you guys. They get really crazy. It's We've so funny. Before. But those are okay. And we're also, you know, I think that when we think about our relationship that we have with our Lord, we think about it being very rigid and very serious. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're talking about the Lord that actually created laughter. He put joy in us from laughing. People flocked to him. They wanted to be with him. They wanted to hang out with him. Yeah. Um. So yes, he was so approachable. He was so it was so enjoyable to be with Jesus. So from that, you have to come to this point where you're like laughter is part of life. God wants us to laugh. Mm -hmm. And so you need to actually spend that time laughing with your kids. Well, Even in education, when you're homeschooling, you really honestly, you know, I know that you have a lot of work. I know that you may have co-ops. I know that you may have, you know, lesson plans. You have all the stuff that Very serious. You're, you're putting in this rigidity. But the truth is you have as much flexibility as you want because right. you're making the rules. And so you need to go ahead and just allow that time mm -hmm. to smile and have fun and laugh. And it happens during the in-between times yeah. as yeah. well. And as we release our stranglehold on... Um, the rigidity, the seriousness of everything. We, we, you know, let go of all the adultness, the adult things that we have to do. It has a lot of impact on us as well. You know, the more that we play with our kids, the, the, it, it helps keep us in shape. It helps. I've told everybody it helps keeps us young because we, we don't take things as seriously because we get to see a lot more through their eyes. Um, the conversations they have, they have ministered to me so much through getting to see their perspective just in fun times. Yeah. You know, the profound things come out of fun moments. Um, so, you know, as as we are adulting, and there's all the jokes and memes about adulting and how hard it is, God gave us kids to kind of help keep us young, help keep us alive, help keep us um, focused on the things that matter because our kids have a very different way of seeing the world. 
So this weekend, our challenge to you is to, you know, the house, you know, I know, I know, I feel you. The house needs to be cleaned. The grass needs to be mowed. The, you know, shrubs need to be shrub, uh, trimmed up and all that stuff needs need to, to happen. But they definitely do. But find some time to really, really have fun with your kids and just make that a regular occurrence and not just because it's family fun night. Let it start organically happening. Make it just part of your routine. Play with your kids. Go out four square, no matter how old they are, they can probably do that. Um, so many different things. Hide and seek, tag, different and things I, that they love to gonna do. Fun is going to look look different Absolutely. in certain families. Absolutely. And a lot of times it's just sharing. The, the Parents, I know that you have things that you love to do. And when we say have fun, really what you're doing is, is that you're sharing what you love with your kids. Yeah. And so share that with them, whatever it might be. Maybe you're sharing them books. Maybe you go out. I, we have a family here that, that uh, has electronic transportation. Little hoverboard things. It's, I don't know what they are. <laughs> they have one wheelers, which are really cool. I'm, I'm actually a little jealous about That's them. Right. They're out every night, up and down they, the street. They, they're always riding on these things. And it's always a father and his son. Mm -hmm. And they're riding them together. It's whatever it might be. Maybe it's karate. Maybe it's card games. Maybe it's board games. Maybe it's basketball. Maybe uh, who knows what it might be. It could be programming. It could be anything. Yeah. What you love, share with your kids. Yep, yep. Have fun together this weekend and every other day going forward. Uh, it'll keep you young. It'll strengthen those relationships. And it'll make your life a whole lot more enjoyable. So, so, rem so remember to like and to comment on this because it actually helps us show up in your Facebook feed. But we also had one yesterday as well. It was yep. fear. Yep. And so we invite you to look at that as well. Yep. So have a great weekend and we will talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye.